Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. Uh, I am here with a random decapitated hatchet in inside of a head uh, that, that I found on a stump. You're not very good at English, are you? <laughs> <laughs> a random decapitated hatchet I found in a head. So it's a hatchet. So you found the severed hatchet head inside a head. <laughs> and you're specifically referring to me as the hatchet's head inside of a head. Yes. <laughs> Your sentence actually... structure is broken. No, I I did that on purpose. I was actually thinking about that on the car ride home. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that would be pretty funny. Well, you see, that's the thing. Your sentence structure is just as broken. It's just premeditated broken. You vandalized your own sentence. I thought I thought that hatch head referred to an individual with a hatchet as a head. No. <laughs> hatchet head refers to me having a goddamn hatchet in my head. Kind of hard to cut things with a human head. Well, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to cut through a human head, but it's not cutting through the head. It's gouged into the head. It's embedded in the head. No, I think what Bookworm meant is like cutting things with the human head. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> anyway, on my beginning words, uh, I have good news. What, those weren't your beginning words? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, my good news is, after a recent hospital visit earlier this morning, uh, the crack in my spine is beginning to heal. Ah. Which means it's not fully irreversible. Like, the nervous system damage is still permanent. Uh, so, I'll still have pain. But, like, at least the bone structure gets fixed. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the good news. Now we can start the game. Okay, every time... Like, when I hear someone say, that's the good news, my brain goes, okay, so what's the bad news? Bad news is I'm out of work for a really long time. Yeah. You axed. <laughs> yes, I am an axe. Fuck you. I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, it's nice. Good to know it's healing at least a little. It's they yeah. said uh, due to that it's very thin, like cut, like uh, crack and whatever. It's going to be healed by the middle of April. Hmm. Which is actually gotcha. pr pretty soonish, like soon for like for like a um important bone to be healed. Like it usually would take yeah. longer. Bless this. Say yes, I will grow stronger enough to jump down staircases. That what? That's not what that means. <laughs> Even in the slightest, where did you get? Where did you? How did you come to that conclusion? Give me a syllogism. Uh, oh, I don't like how she has blood on her face and how she looks like a psycho. Hey, be nice. Oh, she, they actually turned she's... down the music. Look how quiet it uh, is. Nice. Oh, also, my... thank you. Also, in my head, like. I wouldn't put it past you to at some point say, like, Hey, everybody. So I got some good news. Uh, I got a raise at work. I've also got some bad news. Someone stabbed me. Like, <laughs> with the way that your life works. <laughs> oh, that's a downside of noise suppression. It's harder to hear you laugh. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing you were laughing there, and I just could not hear it. A little. It's like, hey, everybody, good news. I have a new cat. Bad news. I killed a dog. <laughs> okay, I'm returning North Suppression back to normal. Yeah. I think it's it's not better. like the key clacking is an issue. Yeah. Hey everybody, good news. I've got a new television. Yeah, the Bad only... news, <laughs> I'm being I'm being sued for tens of thousands of dollars. Oh my god. The only thing I don't know about this game is whether or not this is canon. 
I see. I mean, I'd be... Most of the time, that like, if there's a subsequent game to something, you can assume that it's canon. Right. Let's see, accept. X key, cancel, or open menu. OC is also investigate. F5 key, return to title screen. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks, game. Thanks for clearing Thank that you. for us. Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> this is a work of fiction. I'm Marty, a male college student. Oh yeah, that's the name you were supposed to be if you didn't change your name to Aaron. Oh yeah. Not too long ago, I was in a horrible car accident where I lost my parents, my only friend, and my memory. So I'm still adjusting to this life. Still, my life isn't all bad. Multi, I'm so happy you're here. I missed you so much. Come, give big Russian hug. Also, we can see farther down now. We can actually see her hold her hands close down, unlike before. Yes, you can see full body pig of me. Then I give you a kiss. Why does my character always have a hand in their pocket? He's very nonchalant, cool guy like that. That or holding a knife in there so at some point gonna stab someone. That's very possible, given, <laughs> given the fact that it's your character. Yeah. <laughs> Butterfly just... knife at the ready. <laughs> I just saw you yesterday, silly. I still miss you, okay? <laughs> Can't I miss you? Fuck you! <laughs> I recently started going out with a girl. Her name is Sally, and she's super cute. Though maybe a little clingy. She's like a little bunny. Today is Sally's birthday. She invited me over to her house tonight to eat some homemade cookies. We've both been looking forward to this day. Here, this Nazar is for you. It's a talisman against evil. You bought that in the last game. <laughs> I bought it from that exorcist, and I swear it actually works. You mean Bruce? Or oh, Figs? <laughs> oh? What's wrong? It just makes me feel a little nervous. Uh, I don't think I can. Oh, a little nauseous. I don't think I can take this. Uh -oh. I think that means I evil. Am I evil? Not a good sign, Sally. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. I'll get you something else. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. I wasted your gift. Am I the only one who sees, like, little light specks going around in the background? No, I think that is happening. Okay. Yeah, I see him. My house has many ghosts. All the orbs you can think of. <laughs> this is not the first time Sally has turned down one of my gifts. Never had a another girlfriend, and I have no friends or family to ask. So, I don't know if this kind of thing is normal. Am I really that bad at choosing gifts? No, I'm just a little bit of crazy. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I should go to the kitchen and bake the cookies. Light bulb. Let me give you a quick tour first, though. This is the bathroom. As you can tell, it has a toilet in it. Yes, that is that is a part of bathroom. It's very shit and fuck. Live that for later. <laughs> the kitchen's that way. Feel free to check out any of the other rooms. It's just good. 
One exception though. Don't ever, ever open the door to my room. Girl. Got it? Hopefully not at the same. Yeah. Well, you see, that's the thing. For some people, that is a benefit, but... Ew. Oh, man, the sex was so good, I shit my... <laughs> we had to move all naughty times into the bathroom because I kept shitting on the bed. There's actually a thing where people shit on each other as sex while doing sex. Yes, I was literally just referring to that. We don't oh. need to talk about it. <laughs> anyway. Okay, sure. I agree wholeheartedly with Surus when he says, the only kink I will shame is scat. So what? Scat kink. Is what we're talking about. Ah, okay. Which, to be fair... I don't actually want to shame, kink shame it, but also it's just. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, you're such a good boy. Good boys like you get rewarded at night. Oh, oh. Oh, wow, we are gonna oh. get fucked. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> um, what? Oh, he's so innocent. Good cookies, I mean. Oh, never mind. I'm not thinking of naughties. Do I look like someone who engages in the naughties? A bookworm says, yes, please. <laughs> ah, okay. Hello, I am secretly dominatrix. <laughs> Would you not tell my deep Russian accent? <laughs> in Russia, the doms dom you. But it's like that everywhere else, so it's, it's probably the most normal thing about Russia. Oh, Marty, it's so easy to tell what you're thinking. Just like all the other guys. What? I didn't catch that last part. It's nothing. I can sense that you're horny, and I don't like the horny. <laughs> Booker said, or in Russia, everyone is dumb. In Russia, everyone is dominant. Sally's full name is Sarah Sweet, and she's a really nice girl, just like her name suggests. She's my girlfriend and I adore her, but somehow I feel she's hiding something from me. Like there's a side to her I don't know about. I guess I'll look around past the time. Can I take back the gift? Thing this thing reminds me of why Sally and I started going out. At the time, I was in the hospital recovering from the car accident, when she was a fellow inpatient there. Yay, recaps in case people didn't play the previous game. Yeah, that's where we, that was where we suddenly got trapped in a crazy paranormal hazard. A bunch of people got possessed by evil spirits and went on to attack more people. Fortunately, someone called an exorcist named Bruce. <laughs> Uh, help, evil spirit. Hey, you, catch. Use against that thing. That's not how that went down. You purchased that from him. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. A thousand will do. Huh? That deserves a thousand dollars. Pay up. It also was not that expensive. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Anyway, thanks to Bruce's help, I only not survived, but also managed to save Sally. Maybe it was the suspension bridge effect, but very soon after that, Sally and I started going out. Suspension bridge effect? You don't know what that is? No. It's basically a psychological phenomenon in which uh, people's brains very easily uh, interconnect uh, 
the emotions of fear and romance, as well as lust. Um, it, it, it got that name because, like, the initial study that coined the term uh, was done to, like, basically you had, like, a guy that was put onto a suspension bridge that was swinging back and forth, and then he was asked, uh, how attractive is that girl at the end of the bridge? And then consistently, people who were, uh, in that dangerous situation would perceive the other person in the situation to be more attractive than if they're not in the dangerous situation. Uh. It's the same basic reason why uh, some people suggest watching horror stuff with a partner because the brain literally can just end up meshing together the chemicals for fear and uh... Uh, blah, 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 blah. the chemicals for uh, fear and I forget what this is fear and uh, affection and then it, it can make things both things become stronger also huh bathtub in a separate room from the toilet and sink interesting uh, yeah I think that's uh, I'm pretty sure that's a Japanese thing photo of Sally's mother. Sally once told me that she was never close to her mother as a child. Even now, they only see each other a few times a year. Wait a minute. What? What if she's the girl from the first game? Like, you know, the twins? I really doubt that. But what if they actually did pull it out of the ass and be that? Well, then I would be sorely disappointed. <laughs> Sleeping bills. Apparently, this? apparently Sally suffers from insomnia and has to take sleeping pills. She never tells... She's never told me why she has trouble sleeping, but if she doesn't want to talk about it, I'm not going to ask. She's entitled to her privacy, after all. Isn't insomnia a good enough reason? No. Well, I think what he's meaning there is, like, didn't the twins' mom die? Booker Mass? Um, no. No, uh, no, she divorced them. Yeah. Wait, divorce the children. Wait a minute. <laughs> divorce the, the father. <laughs> yeah, the way also, you said it um, at first, you divorced the children. <laughs> she divorced herself from the children. These are no longer my children. Get them away from me. <laughs> I'm s I, I'm no longer in any sort of parental relationship with these children. Oh, the scripture from Grand Mistress's words. Huh. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, Cindy, Cindy. <laughs> Excuse me? That's how I get into it. Hey! Psst! Stop being a dumbass. Goddamn cats. <laughs> All men are created full. <laughs> and for this, they're full. <clears throat> That's it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I just had a... I just... At like one of those little upchuck burps. Oh, now you gotta do the nya voice while Cindy. No, I'm not. what nya voice? Nya. Yeah. No, <laughs> I will not do that. <laughs> Worship nya and embrace the prayer. Pray conscious dreams. I did unto thee. Kill thy weak ego and entrust thy future to Nya. <laughs> All men are created fools, and for this they are full of gas. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Preparing thyself for thy future beef. Beef? 
Beeth. <laughs> what is it's, this? It's like Beeth, but I, I read it as Beeth. <laughs> Prepare thyself and thy. F <gasps> Why am I yawning? Just fuck you. Prepare thyself for thy future, beeth the one true path to happiness. Beeth. Three cognitive dreams? This, yeah. Can make people have dreams that tell the future? <laughs> Imagine how sweet, sweet that would be. It could tell me how a relationship with Sally is going to pan out. Sal is a worshipper of Nya. The I love painting Nya portraits. Okay, yeah, she is a worshipper of Nya. Oh yeah, this portrait. I don't know why, but this portrait makes me feel uncomfortable. Nya? Nya? I've heard that, that name somewhere before. Yeah. I think it's the deity of that new religious movement that has a small but devoted following. Does Sally believe in this kind of thing? Oh, wait a minute. I saw that. Gee. That might have just been a glitch. The eyes? Oh, the eyes change? You didn't see the eyes in the hair? Oh, I still... Oh, those were eyes? I... Like, yes. on my end, it just looks like fucking... Like, a weird scene transition. No, those were eyes. Oh. This sofa sure is comfortable, though. That's a perfect reaction to that. Oh. This one looks a bit like Sally. I guess Sally must have made these herself. She told me about this hobby before. I got this for you. You like to collect dolls, right? Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry. I don't actually collect dolls at all, I just like to make them by hand. Oh. Please ignore the fact that the doll you're handing me is literally the exact same sprite as the ones on my wall. <laughs> oh, oops. Thank you, though, John. Wait, uh, what? Wait, what? But, I mean, Marty. I am brain damage. <laughs> Too much vodka. John? Who's that? Nobody. I just said the wrong name. I must play it off smooth so you don't pick up on the fact that I have many, many psychological issues that I have unresolved. Sally has secrets. Secrets she can't tell me. Wait, can we actually save? No. You're not allowed to save. Never mind. Oh wait, record. Oh. Yeah, it's record instead of save. So let's try going in here. Oh. Being told not to open this door makes me so curious. Oh, why are you immediately going to try to is there something that right. she needs to hide? No, I can't. I'll look at some other stuff to distract myself. What the fuck is your problem, Bray? She the is... lady said don't go in a room. <laughs> You'll become one of the end of this game. It's lol, it says fuck. E. Sally is holding a kitchen knife in her left hand, ready to chop up the, a big chocolate bar. But her hand is paused mid-air, and she stares blankly ahead. Sally? Sally? Dot, dot, dot. Sally! Oh, muddy. Are you okay? I just... Ah! 
get distracted sometimes. <laughs> Seems to happen a lot. If you're tired, you should get some rest. Yeah. Did you need anything? I was worried you'd be lonely, so I wanted to chat a bit. Uh, okay. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> the first question- You're left-handed? You're left-handed? <laughs> How dare you be left-handed? <laughs> Left-handedness is the sign of the devil. Where did this even come from? I don't know. Wait, what'd you say? Like, the line? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, that- uh, Alright, no, the left hand thing. The left hand thing? You mean, like, your option to ask her? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's just, like, noticing that she's left handed. Yeah. Also, uh... One thing I want to say about left-handed, isn't it, like, still just a theory on how you get a left hand, like, is based on, it is a theory on what we do as infants. Like, which hand we choose to predominantly use. Fuck if I know. I saw a video about it, it's like, it's still just a theory. Oh, in the science, I think you mean a hypothesis. Fuck off. Well, I mean genuinely, theory oh. when talking about scientific stuff means a very different thing. Oh, well, they just said theory, so I don't know. <laughs> well, then they are stupid! Anyway. You're left-handed? Yes, who never noticed? Inconsiderate bitch! Why do you like me? Why does she look pissed off? <laughs> I asked that question. Jeez, I have I have resting bitch face. Leave me alone. Probably because you're the most handsome guy I've ever met. <laughs> That's really blunt. Yeah. Really? But no other girls ever s said that I'm even remotely good looking. Rip asking the hard questions. Well, I mean, after all, love is blind. Handsome guy, not a good sign. Oh no. No. Oh, yeah. Don't bring up handsome guy again. Hey, well, I think you're super pretty too. Well, sure, because love sees no faults, right? What the fuck? Wait. Why is she getting mad? <laughs> no, I bet any guy would say you're really beautiful. Oh, she has some deep-seated trauma. That's what I'm guessing. Uh. Oh! <laughs> the cookies you bake are amazing, and I love that you... You make me feel needed. I'm so lucky to be your boyfriend. It's like a dream. Healthy relationship thing happening? In these games? Okay, now when were you fucking? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, don't say that. You're making me blush. Can't you tell? Can't you tell by my lowercase o underscore lowercase o face? <laughs> Can't you tell by my, uh, let me... Can't you tell by my face that I am very happy? <laughs> Why do you have the portrait of... Yeah. Do you believe in that religion? Stop! Stop! <laughs> um, well... That's what my mother believes in. My mother loved my father so much, but he died when I was three. Okay, so yeah, no, it's not the exact same person. <laughs> that much was obvious. Look at her. <laughs> that the the previous girl had boobas. What? No, the, the cannibal the girl. No, they took, no, that's no. She didn't yeah, have boobs. She was flat. She had. I remember her having boobas. 
No, every girl in that game was flat. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Good job, Hatchet. After that, the cult consumed my mother's life. Or, and I consume too much of this media. Her mom is near. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez, that... That's an entirely cogent idea, and I hate it. Moving on. <laughs> After that, the cult consumed my mother's life. She paid a fortune to the Grand Mistress and neglected my sister and me, so she's not the goddess. Never mind. I literally just had to read the thing on, on screen to disprove it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I was really lonely as child. What do I say in this kind of situation? Rip debunked again. <laughs> All right, last question. This, this all resembles you a bit. Is this supposed to be you? It's supposed to be my sister. She's the one who made it. Oh, right. So <laughs> your sister made this doll. What's she like? I don't know why, but I thought this was you for a second. I intend to fuck your sister, da. Oh, God. Not again. My name is Sierra. With er, Sierra? Sierra? <laughs> Which is similar to my name, Sarah. Sierra. Her name is S, for her short. Name is, her name is Syria. <laughs> uh, oh, God, no. <laughs> her name is Siri. She works for Google. <laughs> <laughs> and lives in Syria. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are not in Syria. <laughs> she actually just lives in Uzbekistan. <laughs> <laughs> the bookworm. I am truly a handsome guy. I'm fucking siblings of those who are into me. I'm such a good communicator that I fuck all the people that don't want to talk to me. Wait. Never mind. I'm not going to. We're not going to. We're not going to. Listen, listen, we're not gonna, we're not gonna unpack that statement. I did not mean it to be as creepy as it was. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Can you tell I'm a virgin? Yes. <laughs> as, as a child, I was really attached to Sue. <laughs> That's their name now. I I <laughs> to say that I specifically shake my head back and forth rapidly. <laughs> As a child, I was really attached to Celeb, always following her around and imitating everything she did. The reason I love making dolls is because that's what she loved. But still, eventually got annoyed. She made she she made me this Sierra doll and said, "Excuse me, take this. Just don't follow me around anymore, okay?" I hugged this doll and cried and cried. Sierra doesn't want me anymore. Thinking back, I think Slyl must, must have hated me even ever since I was little. Did something else happen between Sally and her sister? This Oof, is just sibling issues. Yeah. yeah. This is just me talking, but I feel like if she really hated you and didn't love you even a tiny bit, she wouldn't have made you this doll for you any you at all. You're not even gonna attempt to pronounce my name, the no. name I made. Maybe you're right. Really likes me. But I'll never know what Sira actually thought about me. She's dead. That's This is what's leading up to. Never. What does she mean by that? 
That's all I can ask. Jesus, what was that sound? Never seen. I've seen everything there is to see. Can't find anything more to chat about. But the cookies aren't ready yet. What should I do next? Only thing I haven't checked out is the door to Sally's room. Don't. Oh God, we have to God, go. God, don't. God, don't. God. Marty. Fucking boundaries. This door, it's calling to me. The more I try to ignore it, the more I want to open it. Don't open it. open the door I chose not to open the door but it wasn't because I respected Sally's privacy I was just afraid I was afraid of ruining our relationship of course but even more of discovering what she was hiding well the, the cookies are done why are you staring at the door uh, oh right you didn't open the door to my room, did you? Haha. <laughs> I almost opened it. That's fine then. <laughs> That's... She took that... She took that you were, like, that close to violating what she asked you not to do. She took that surprisingly well. Yeah. Are they good? Do you like cookie? Oh man, so good. You could sell these. So good you can't taste the poison? Aren't you gonna have any? It makes me happy just watching you eat. Besides, I can always make more for myself. Okay. Wait, please. Okay, nope, nope. This is not going to be her actually poisoning us. That's not going to be the case. What are you talking about? Today's your birthday, and food tastes so much better when you eat it together. Come on, open up. Oh, okay. I like a little bit of poison. Good? <laughs> of course, I baked them myself. Are you saying I should bake you? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Marty, you're such a sweet, innocent guy. A guy like you shouldn't be dating me. What? Nothing. It's late. You should be getting home. Oh, yeah, I guess. You seem disappointed. Uh, did you want me, did you want me to say no one else is home tonight, so we should stay over? No, 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 I really should go. You're so cute. I love you. That's why I have to say goodbye, Marty. What? After that, Sally started avoiding me. She didn't reply to my messages or answer my calls. I thought about going to her house directly, but I didn't have the courage. I was afraid to ask her why she was dis distancing herself from me, whatever her reasons were. And so our relationship just faded out. If I had noticed what happened, I would have opened that door back then. That way, at the very least, I might have known why things ended this way. It doesn't matter now. Nobody can rewind in time. There's ten endings? Wait. Huh. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Did I hear someone say anyone relying time to salvage a relationship? Very well. I shall play Cupid for y the two of you and grant you that wish. With my precognitive dreams. Oh, damn. When did I fall asleep on the sofa? 
I mean, it's some kind of long dream, but what did I dream about? Hmm, I can't remember. Before I fell asleep, I was think I was trying to decide whether to open this door or not. I don't know why, but I, wa I want to open it so badly. I just need to know what Sally's secrets are. Okay, just in case something happens. This door is calling to me. The more I try to ignore it, the more I want to open it. Oh shit. Now you can open the door. What the hell? Another anime opening. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. I told you not to open the door to my room. Ah, uh, so we've got a Groundhog Day situation going on. What the? What the fuck? Damn, this really is an anime opening. It's spoiling everything. Photo frames? That's a lot of photos. Whose photos are they? Hi, hi, Adorna. Hey, Adorna. Who's this? Why does he look so much like me? Uh... Thank you, Lil Jun. Nope, oh, she, nope, oh, she fucking ninja vanished behind you. <laughs> I see, so this is John. You're fucked. <laughs> Sally? Don't tell not to open the door to my room. John is your ex-boyfriend, isn't he? Oh god, and there's just as many pictures as there is dolls on the wall. Fucking hell. Yes, my very first love. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. Sal was very kind to me from the moment we met. I was always confused why such a sweet girl had noticed me. I guess I was such a substitute for John. So what happened? Did they break up? Where is John now? Oh! So there's two beds, yeah. Oh. He's in Russian heaven. What? Lots of vodka. Two years ago today, my mother suddenly came home for my birthday, which was a very rare thing. John and my sister were also here at the time. I was so happy, and I asked John to take the four of us out for a drive. No, oh no, don't tell me there was an accident. Yeah. I was very lucky that I didn't get seriously injured. My mother was fine too. She only got knocked out, but my sister lay there dying. And it was even worse for John. Ah! His limbs had been torn off. All I could do was watch as he died. That's I'm starting awful. to regret giving her this voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. But nope, we're rolling with it. Even now, I have dreams at night when I'm searching for John's arms and legs. Ah. Oh, I'm the one who killed John and my sister. What the fuck? No. No. Oh, God, they've got... Oh, they've got survivor's guilt. No. So, oh, girl. so Sally lost everything in a car crash, just like me. But in her case, her own memories have been tormenting her. Sally, that's not your fault. I promise. And I know what to say, so I just hugged her. This time, Sally didn't reject my gesture. She just let me hold her and... And her trembling body slowly calmed down. Are you okay? I'll admit that at first, 
I did see you as a substitute. Man, I thought I was prepared for this, but actually hearing from Sa Sa that from Sally's mouth hurts. But I've really come to care for you. I love your kindness. And most of all, how straightforward and innocent you are. You'll yeah. never try to post me down on my bed and feel... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bed is right there, and you have yet to post me down on it. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I didn't know how to tell you about John. I was afraid that telling you would put a wall up between us, but if I didn't, I knew I'd brood over it forever. And... I'm so sorry, Marty. First, all I could think about was how jealous I was that John had still occupied such a big portion of Sally's heart. Oh, that's... Oh, that's not... Okay, that's not... That's not healthy. Yeah, but now Sally's tears had pushed all that out of my mind. And I just wanted to comfort Sally, even if it meant pretending I didn't care about John. That's a bit better. Thanks. I don't like... Oh. oh, go ahead. I'm glad you told me about this, Sally. I don't like, like, those really gross, possessive things that come along with a lot of, like, patriarchal cool bullshit. Where it's like, this other person that she was with, that, that devalues her and the fact that she has trauma yeah. surrounding that person devalues her yeah tr true I, I agree with that yeah but anyway oh. also hi <laughs> hi <laughs> it was your first love and yet you two were parted forever in such a traumatic traumatic way I'm sure the hole John left in your heart will never really go away. I can't feel it, and I don't want to pretend your past with John never happened either. All I can do is try and make your future a little happier. After all, I'm your boyfriend now and always. Multi. Sally, Sally and I held each other tightly for a long, long time. Our, rela our relationship became even closer than before. And although my gut told me that there was actually more to Sally's secret than she let on, I was okay with that. Just as I was okay about Sally's past with John. And I was willing to believe that Sally and I would live Happily ever after? Second okay, so ending. it's structured with, like, the endings thing, but it's still, like, a, a, set, in, a, a, a set line, I think. So what, did I about? what did I try about? Hmm, I can't remember. Yeah, same thing over and over. Still, huh, what am I saying? I've never been even gone in this room. Okay, I guess I have to check it out. Yeah, you might want to keep an eye on little oh. dialogue changes. Photo frames. That's a lot of photos. Whose photos are they? Yeah, okay, so we're going to be cycling through the various photos on the bed or on the table. Oh, an anime protagonist. <laughs> ah, yes. What a, what a handsome man. A guy? He's pretty good oh. looking. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I need to turn your volume down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, Sorry. You're good. No, you're good. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> just... Surprise sudden... jump scare. <laughs> sudden a dirt of sound. Shot. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is different. Oh. He looks 
I don't know, but that face gives me bad vibes. That is the face of a man who is a bit too horny. I relate <laughs> with him a bit, a bit too much. And who's this? Marty's photos of these guys in Sally's room. They don't look like they're from a boy band, so who are they? Can I see the last picture? They're that from is... a boy band? Who's fuck jugger? <laughs> How does Sally know them? Well, watch the watch the second picture be of like a yandere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sally? I told you not to open the door to my room. I'm sorry, I just... It's fine. I had to tell you sooner or later anyway. These photos... Why are they so important to you? Because they're my exes. Oh, on. don't tell me. Oh. Oh, no, that's what it is. What? All of her ex all, all of the people she ends up falling for die somehow. Oh. That's what I'm guessing. I won't lie. The word exes came as a shock to me. But Sally's such a great girl. I shouldn't be surprised that she dated other guys. A good boyfriend should be understanding and accept her Maybe. past. Maybe, Bookworm. Hey, that's not a big deal. You didn't need to hide it from any- from me. I almost said anybody. Well, that's not all. Huh? One of them was the bite of 83. <laughs> no, yep, that's You called right. it. <laughs> <laughs> One of them was the Bite of 83. <laughs> Why did I have to add that Oh in my god. <laughs> Let's see. One died in car accident. One was beaten, bitten by Golden Freddy. One was, one was bitten by Foxy. And one was bitten by Charles Manson. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> oh god, my head hurts. Oh my god. <sighs> They're all dead. Hey, what? All the guys I fell in love with died. Okay. Oh, that's why she distanced you and from you in the first scene, in the first ending. You must think it's crazy, but my mother told me. Never, ever since I was a child, that the women of our bloodline were doomed to have our husbands die. That's why my father and my mother's father died early. I didn't believe it at first, but my first boyfriend died, and so did my second and third, all in accidents, too. After that, I had to believe it was true. So, have a wife problem solved. <laughs> eh. Curse abated. Go lesbians. <laughs> Some girls talked about me behind my back. Look at her. Did you know another wonderful boyfriend's died? Hide the guys from her. She's cursed. I'm afraid being with me will kill you one day, too. But I didn't know how to tell you why I was afraid. You must think I'm nuts for believing in something that crazy, right? If, if this goes continues from the last game, which is said did, I literally killed the god of death. I no, don't... It's the god, well, it's the god of undeath. And, yeah. like, they didn't actually die. They're a deity. It's just that you killed their vessel. Yeah, well, I mean, I still beat it in a fight. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> so I don't think she has much to worry about. But, you see, that's the thing, Bright. How good is your fucking dice rolling skills going to be against a semi-truck? <laughs> It'll help me get isekai 
<laughs> don't worry, I have something that those other guys don't have. An amulet that protects me from evil. Hell yeah. No, what Bright has is an amulet that Bright stuck in. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't, I, you know what? Like, my body, my mortal body might die, but I will live on, says the bright. Yeah. The old me might have laughed and said Sally was being silly, but after surviving that paranormal hazard in the hospital, I now believe that some things in this world are beyond the reach of human understanding. Honestly, at this point, like, you're looking at four dead exes of hers, or maybe three. Yeah. Yeah, three. She only mentioned three. So you're looking at three dead exes. Like, okay, even if it is just superstition, you can kind of see why. <laughs> why she's come to believe. <laughs> and really, whether Sally is actually doomed to have her boyfriends die, is besides the point. The bigger problem is that she blames herself for being responsible for her deaths. Oh, and that's why she said it was my fault in the previous situation of death. I, Sally, I can see how having all your boyfriends die in accidents would convince you that you're cursed. You must have suffered so much from blaming yourself. Morty. Your fear of me getting hurt shows just how much you care about me. But you had to bear this burden all on your own because you didn't know how to tell me. Sally, you're amazing. You're the bravest, most caring person I know. Morty, no one has ever been so understanding. I love you so much, Morty, but the more I love you, the more afraid I am of staying in this relationship. I'm really afraid of losing you. Whether you're really doomed to lose your boyfriends or not, I'm not afraid. But... Oh, wait! Remember at the beginning of the game, Hatchet, where she put on the amulet and she felt nauseous? Hmm. Oh... Yeah! Um, she be cursed. Oh, ow! Fucking hell, that hurt! Don't hurt yourself. That's my that, job. I can't help but hurt if I sneeze and it hurts my back because I need a chiropractic treatment, you bitch! I don't think that will work for me. What? <laughs> oh, you it. mean for your issue? Yeah, like it, this isn't a spinal injury. <laughs> this is my bones being out of alignment and fucking grinding and pinching nerves. Ah. Anyway, I understand though. If something happened to me, you'd blame yourself to death. Even if the chance is less than one percent, it's not fair if you end up torturing yourself. That's why. I have to leave the choice up to you, Sally. Do we stay in this relationship or not? If going out with you means ruining your life, maybe we should break up. Just knowing you're doing okay every time you post something online will be enough to make me happy. Even if you aren't my boyfriend anymore. I see. You're such a nice guy. You deserve a better girl. Even if we break up, can I still keep on loving you? Dot dot dot. You're so silly. So this is how my first love ended. I was heartbroken but never showed it. I knew Sally would be watching me, and Sally would want me want to see me happy. So I pretended to be happy. Because my happiness was Sally's happiness, and Sally's happiness was my happiness. My pretend happiness didn't seem so pretend anymore. That ending was sad. 
Yeah. Now for the fourth yeah. ending. Time to see what that fourth <laughs> picture is. Holy shit, it's the guy that's dismembered under her bed. That's <laughs> it. Oh my god. Okay, so that's the same thing as over. This is deja yeah. vu? I really feel like I've opened this door before. Twice, in fact. I want to open the door and uncover Sally's secrets. Secrets, secrets, Sally's secrets. Hey, thanks for reminding us what game we're playing, bro. Oh, we're about to see the final frame. <laughs> Photo frames, that's a lot of photos. Whose photos are they? About to see Why did he have to say the title of the game so obnoxiously? <laughs> It's like, oh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. It's a photo of me? I mean, if she's, like, you're her fourth boyfriend, that's not too, that's not too odd. Yeah. Wait, so this is what Sally was hiding? She was just too embarrassed to tell me she had a photo of me in her room? Aw, oh, she's so cute. Hold on. Have I ever been photographed like this? Why does Sally have this photo? Did she take oh. it secretly? Are there other photos of me too? Let's see. It is me! Wait, no it isn't. He just looks like me. What the heck? Oh no, my character's gonna be angry at this ending. Yeah, prem premonitions of the future. Oops, the photo fell out of frame. Huh? There's some red writing on the back of this photo. <laughs> uh, <I'm... laughs> oh the, no. The most handsome guy ever. Yep, this is gonna be the bad breakup. <laughs> so Sally's secret is that she likes to sneak photos of hot guys? That's <laughs> all? What the fuck? The windows are closed, so where where's this wind coming from? It's pretty strong, too. Enough to blow the other two frames down. Wait, what the fuck? Whose photos are the other two of? Another handsome guy. Is there... Writing on the back? Body. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Any other one? Of course, another good-looking guy. What's written on the back this time? Horny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Limbs. Oh god. Oh my she... god. Wait a minute. Is she trying to rebuild her original boyfriend? Oh god. And you've got a similar face. Wait. What the fuck? Okay. What about mine? What's written on the back? Head. Oh god. Here, I was about to say something about reincarnation and her boyfriend coming back to her. To die again. Oh no. What do these mean? Are they the best looking parts of their bodies? Sometimes I really can't figure out what Sally's thinking. Not that I, now that I think about it, we've actually only known each other for a short time. She's my girlfriend, but I don't know much about her. Is the wind blowing from there before? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh-oh, and she's there. Huh? There are stairs going down? But Sally never said there was, there was a basement in her house. What? Sa Sally? I told you. Not to open the door to my room. Pandora's box. Bad ending one. Oh, okay, so there's... <sighs> so we're about to uncover everything about her, and... Oh, jeez. <laughs> and this is the penalty of crossing boundaries, kids. <laughs> Was that just that terrible nightmare? <laughs> Remember, kids, don't uncover your girlfriend's necromancy axe, or she might make you a mother experiment. I dreamed I found some stairs in, in the to the basement in Sally's room. But what happened before and after? Why can't I remember? 
Uh, so now you're gonna go down and just go down the down the stairwell. Okay. I have to go in and take a look. Also, how is she not hearing the door sound open? Because selective hearing. Look, it's just like in my dream. Sounding secrets must be at the bottom of these stairs. Why am I so nervous though? It's just a basement, right? Bro, you just trespassed. <laughs> Is Sally really the Sally I know? Ugh. It stinks. What's this stench? Time for Down necromancy. here already. I can't go back without at least taking a look. There's nothing that way I thought there would be. What's that? A pair of feet? <laughs> could, could it be a dead body? Yep. Ah, uh, it really is a dead body. A, a, a man with no head. Wait, there's something weird about this corpse. A closer look reveals that the limbs are sewn onto the body with thread. What's more, the skin tone of the limbs and body don't match. Suggesting that the Oh, so she's Frank she's Frankenstein. Suggesting that has been put together with the pieces from different men. I mean I don't think Frankenstein or Dr. Frankenstein made his monster because he wanted, he wanted to... to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I don't know. Mary uh the the oh why am Mary Shelley, she she had a she was a very wild person, honestly. <laughs> Why is there <laughs> this is an alternate version. Yeah. Why is there a dead body like this in Sally's house? Who killed these people? Who's sewn them together and why? Oh, we can't oh. investigate. We gotta move. You gotta run. Whatever. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> uh. oh. Really didn't get a knife in her right hand. Sally stabs Marty in the stomach. But she's left-handed. Wait a minute. <laughs> he's ambidextrous, bitch. I told you not to open the door to my room. The cold blade slices. Oh wait, sorry, wrong voice. The cold blade slices Marty's throat this time. Ah. Uh -huh. oh. uh -huh. Ha. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sally straddles Marty and lays herself on him. Oh. A rhythming tongue slinks out of her mouth. She proceeds to lick and Marty suck on his face. Uh. Marty wants to scream, but he can't. John. John. John, you're such a tease. Why were you hiding from me? Don't you have any idea how much I missed you? girl can't be Sally. Who the heck is she? Or was the Sally I knew just an act from the beginning? Was it a person this girl made up? John, you don't have to wait anymore. I'll separate you from this useless guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> the girl raises the kitchen knife up high, <laughs> then thrust it with all her might into Marty's throat. <laughs> The final piece I need. Soon, I'll be down and sewing up my love. <laughs> the final piece. Oh my god. Hey, everyone here. Fun fact. <laughs> if, if you didn't already know this, fun fact. Uh, uh, I think Mary Shelley is her name. The lady who wrote Frankenstein. Uh, she not only lost her virginity. Wait, why are you speed running this? I, I, those are all the same messages I said before. Okay. She not only lost her virginity on the grave of her parents. Wait, what? 
She straight, yeah, she, she had sex for the first time on her parents' grave. Uh, she, after her husband died, she, she carried, <laughs> the bookworm, she carried, I think, his heart around with her always afterward, like, literally his heart. Who? Uh, Mary Shelley, the original author of Frankenstein. Wait, she carried whose heart? Her, uh, the, her her dead husband's heart after he passed. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway. Fun fun facts of the day. <laughs> Is this deja vu? I really feel like I've gone down these stairs before. This time we're investigating. We're gonna be a white person. Investigate. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I wrong, though? <laughs> when weren't you being a white person while you were doing that? <laughs> well, Bright's being a white person. But the main character, I assume, is being a Japanese person. To be honest, if I know something, like, really weird going on, I would immediately leave. Yeah. I would just huh. leave. So she, so she was trying to rebuild her husband. No, 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 no. She just wanted to keep his heart really close to her, because yeah. she loved him, and that love manifested in carrying around her dead husband's heart. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. This stench. This hallway. Have I seen her? Have I been here before? Why? Why did I say have I seen here before? I guess I. I guess I can kind of her. see where she gets her um, ideas for Frankenstein from. Oh, yeah, and Frankenstein? She wrote that when she was 16. Oh, all my. Of this, all of this shit happened after she wrote the book, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Oh, my God. She, she was kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway. It, it's a dead body from a man without a head. Why is there a dead body like this in Sally's house? What are those things on the table? I'll at least take a look before I go. It's a group photo of three people. Who's this guy in the middle? Why does he look, look so much like me? And kill the John. Let's see, so this must be John. And this one next to him is Sally. And the other one is... Sally again? Uh... Oh, like from the first game, the twins thing. The doppelganger. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh yeah, and this is the sister she had mentioned. So they were twins. Mhm. Mm huh. Interesting. What the heck? How come there are two Sallies? The <laughs> name is Slithian. I did not hit anything. It's going that fast. Uh, the one. Wait, maybe it's Sally's sister. <laughs> the one who passed away in the car accident. Do you like the name I gave? It's it's suitable. You could have pronounced it a bit better. You have to make sure to <laughs> shake your head fast enough, and it has to be in a Russian <laughs> accent. You have to say, like, SMART! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so they were twins? You gotta really get into the mode of, like, thinking that you just got stabbed in the lung. Huh. Wait. When did Sally tell me that her sister died in a car accident? I think I heard that from her, but I can't remember when. Why am I always feeling like this lately? Oops, the photo fell out of the frame. Huh? There's red writing on the back of this photo. John Checklist. <laughs> Body. Limbs. John Head. Checklist? <laughs> it's the John Checklist! 
<laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> Those Sally's secrets are way worse than I thought. Okay, so she's not even dating me as a substitute for her ex. She just wants me as a piece to recreate John. Crap, it's Sally. Here, uh, give me a second. I gotta do something. Oh my god. How was that spelled? J O H N or J O N? J O H N. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh my god. John checklist? <laughs> Gotta make a checklist for all the ingredients to recreate your boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told you not to open the door to my room. Well, I guess this is as good a time as any. Sally slowly raises her right hand to reveal the kitchen knife glitched in it. In that moment, I got a funny feeling that something was out of place. That feeling was immediately overtaken by fear. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, don't, don't panic. I have to calm down and quick. Marty hastily takes two deep breaths. What? Are you getting ready to die? Saw a video online that said at this distance, even a police officer with a gun is no match for an opponent with a knife. So all I can do is run for it. Marty violently flings the phone frame at it in his hand at Sally's face. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Up the stairs and out, out of Sally's room, I tumbled and scrambled my way. To the front door and burst out. It was then that somehow I realized that I felt out of place. Wait, what the fuck? Uh. Oh. Sally's <sighs> holding a kitchen knife in her left hand. Sally's left handed. Why does she have that knife in her right hand? Oh, yeah. Selene, a sound comes from the door behind Marty. Wait, Marty? is that her twin? Oh. oh, wait, are we having twin shenanigans again? Maybe. Oh, yeah, and it had mentioned that the the woman that hopped on top of you seemed to be different from Sally. Oh, that's mm. the twin. You've got twin shenanigans going on. Yeah. Marty panics, thinking that Sally has come after him. But instead, it sounds like two girls fighting. Gotcha. Look. What? How? Is it? Oh, yeah. Is it you? <laughs> Explains the two beds as well. <laughs> what are you doing with a knife? Where's Marty? Get off me, Sally! <laughs> what the heck is going on? Does this mean it wasn't Sally who pulled the knife on me? But her sister... But I thought yeah. sister was already dead. Out of my way, or I'll... Sally! Uh. I could either run. Sorry, Sally. Yeah, I ran. Oh. Maybe, maybe I should have opened the door and rushed in to save Sally. But I was too panicked and scared in that moment. After running a few blocks, I found a police station on the side of the road. I rushed to the officers for help and asked them to follow me back to Sally's house. I mean, I was too incoherent with panic, or maybe my explanation didn't make Sally sound threatening enough. The officers thought it was just some couple spat and didn't understand how serious the situation was. When they finally half-heartedly agreed to come with me, there was no one at Sally's house on anymore, only the hellish corpse in the basement to prove the horror that had taken place there. Man nearly killed after finding headless corpse in girlfriend's home. 
Few days ago, a man visiting his girlfriend found a dead male body with no head in a house. It was nearly killed. He fled to a nearby police station for help. Suspect is still at large. Police are asking for any information from the public. Was it Sally who tried to kill me that day? Or was it her sister, who was supposed to be dead? The police still haven't found her. For the past few days, I've been living in fear. Because that day, when I took the officers to the basement, only the corpse was there. Sally disappeared, her sister disappeared, the knife disappeared, and that John checklist disappeared too. The police are looking for her, and she's looking for me. She's still looking for John's final piece. Who is she? What is she exactly? And where could she be now? Bruh, this is why witness protection mm. programs exist. <laughs> Looks like my questions are about to be answered. Because right now she's... In front of my house. Bruh. Barricade all windows and doors, dumbass. I learned yeah. that security training, like when something like that happens, barricade any entry. I highly doubt that this guy has security training. Yeah. <laughs> look at look at this dumbass. Do you think he has security training? Trained, I found some stairs in the basement in Sally's room. But what happened before and after? Why can't I remember? I have to Go in and take a look. Also, get the weapons from the last game. Yeah, you should still have a whole bunch of guns. <laughs> oh, and a, and a rocket launcher. Well, actually, no. The police will probably confiscate those. That shit's really hard to get a hold of in Japan. Oh, yeah. Actually, if it was me with my amulet on... I'll be like, oh, you have a knife? I have a rocket launcher. Kaboom! <laughs> you have a knife? I have... <laughs> the C4 device that I planted in my chest three days ago. <laughs> I don't like this. My new headset, I, yeah. it doesn't have a flexible knife, so I can't easily bring it closer to my mouth anymore. Damn. Wow. <laughs> the stairs, the basement, the headless corpse... Somehow everything appears just as I expect. What is this? A B horror movie? Or some horror adventure game? Yes, yes, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Thanks for noticing, buddy. After this, I doubt anything I, w I find will surprise me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Diary. People still writing diaries in this day and age? The newest entries are pretty recent, too. Wow. Just insult everyone who writes in diaries. Damn. The real dick move there, bud. Isn't this person Sally's sister? Being a real pussy and fucking trying to get out of reading the name, huh? <laughs> John, I miss you so much. Where are you? Why are you hiding from me? <laughs> Bitch, he's dead. I found you, John. Did you really think I wouldn't find you if you hid yourself in Sally's, in Sally's boyfriend? That sounds wrong. Wait a minute, was... Was Sally's boyfriend cheating on him with his with her sister? Or I did mean, the sister just like become overly infatuated with her sister's so, boyfriend? It could, okay, or what about this? That's her so that's that was her boyfriend and then she became she 
became infatuated with her sister's other boyfriends after she like had lost her boyfriend well no sally uh sally said that john was her boyfriend specifically not C Sierra's voice unless, friend or whatever. Unless the sister was the one who actually entered the room and not Sally. Huh? Oh, maybe. Yeah. That could be it. Uh, oh, this is so fucky. Let's just... I'm tired of speculating. Let's just... As long as I pretend to be Sally. <sighs> okay, so I was God. correct. <laughs> as long as I pretend to be Sal. Oh, no more speculate. God damn it. Why is it that every time we speculate about something, like within the next five seconds, it's confirmed? What, me? No, just in general during this game. Like, we keep making a prediction and speculating about something, and then it's confirmed within seconds later. Yeah. <laughs> All the answers are one text box away. That's how it was with the previous thing about, like, me jokingly saying all her boyfriends are dead. Yeah. Anyway, match it. Oh, but then... God, this is so fucky, because, like... Like, the Sally that we talked to at the end of the first ending, like, is also the one that just cut contact with us this is oh this is oh my head hurts so bad yeah and my computer's low on battery plug it up Any plug? yeah as long as er, as long as I pretend to be Sally the guy lets his guard down around me <clears throat> but of course Sally's boyfriend is just as stupid as Sally. And I think... And I think I know why she was in the hospital. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. John is back with me again. But after a closer look, it's just the body that belongs to John. Not the limbs or head. I don't need those pieces that aren't John's. I'll take them into the hills behind the house and bury them. That's the remote place. Nobody will find the body parts. <sighs> I just have to bury them nice and deep so the stray dogs don't dig them up. Then I need to go find the rest of John, but, but I swear I will. I take it back what I said earlier. This is way more than just surprising. <gasps> this sister is crazy. And how could she have managed to fool Sally's boyfriend just by pretending to be Sally? Because they really look alike? Or maybe they're twins? Um, wait. Mitch, you're, why are you wait, talking wait, wait. about yourself in the third person? I think that was you... the previous one. one with just the body. Oh, Not... yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. Yeah. Anyway, but Sakma remember Sally saying that her sister died in a car accident. Does Sally have some kind of reason to hide the fact that her sister is alive? Or could it be that it Sally wasn't her sister who told you? Who? Or could it be? It was her sister that told you? Yeah. Maybe. Or, or could it be that Sally doesn't know that her sister is alive? Is that even possible? Wait, if that's true, could it be possible that this sister was the one dating me pretending to be Sally? Yeesh. Is, is the girl I saw, saw today really Sally? Oh no, she's coming. I, I told you not to open the door of my room. Are you Sally or her sister? Who the heck are you? Oh, silly. I know you know already. 
She slowly raises her right hand to reveal a kitchen knife. I've heard that even identical twins can have different dominant hands. I knew it. You're not Sally. She's left-handed. Oh yeah, and the Sal so the Sally that we were talking to earlier is the real Sally because she is left-handed. Right. Hopefully. Okay, fine. You've realized I'm not Sally, but so what? So take this. Artie throws the dattery in, in, in his hand as hard as he can at her sister's face. I'm leaving, motherfucker. I tumble and scrum on my way to the front door and burst out. <sighs> Wait, what about Sally? She's still in the house with that crazy murderer? Damn it! Why didn't I think of Sally sooner? Suddenly, a sound comes from the door behind Marty. What? How? Is it you? What are you doing with a knife? Where's Marty? Let me go, Sally. No way, I won't let you go. Out of my way, or I'll... Uh. Sally! Naughty. Run! What have you done to Sally? I'll kill you! You're about to get stabbed, bitch. What? There's only one person within sight. The sister. The knife in her hand is stained with blood. Her hand is paused mid-air and she stares blankly ahead. Hey, you! Well, well. It's you. I thought you ran away. Where's Sally? What did you do to her? She bought time for you. Why would you waste that by coming back to die? You're just as stupid as her exes. Oh, it was her who talked talked about the exes. Okay. No, like when you were talking about the exes, I think that I think that was actually Sally. Yeah. It's just that Sierra has been offing her exes. You monster! So she could have been, like, faking that she was left-handed. Okay, raises his arms to defend himself from the knife, but gets slashed. Uh, such a loser. Marty feels a surge of aggression at these little words. Shut the hell up. Uh. <laughs> the sister is knocked down and the back of her hand slams against the edge of the cabinet. How dare you hurt Sally, you monster! <laughs> Cursing loudly, Marty rams his foot into his to the sisters several times. Okay, that's on that. That's the, the dude, dude. No, that's unnecessary. So does not resist at all and lies there unmoving in a grotesque position. Grotesque. But whatever. Hey. Grotesque. Hey. <laughs> Why aren't you moving? All I did was kick. All I did was kick her a few times. You. She hit her head and you kicked her a few times, bitch. Okay, whatever. I should go find Sally right now. Sally! Sally! No matter how high alert, hard I looked for Sally, she was nowhere to be found. Oh, uh, 
I'll tell you what happened. Who slashed your arm that day? My girlfriend's sister. Let me get this straight. You fought back against this shit in self-defense and killed her by accident? <laughs> That's why you don't just keep stepping on her. What? She, she She's dead? Yes. How could this have happened? I just... I just... Calm down. Do you know who put together the headless corpse in the basement? It was a sister. She killed Sally's ex-boyfriends and sewed their body parts together. She was going to kill me, too. Yeah, again. That's right. Is something wrong? Your testimony doesn't match the facts at all. Uh-oh. Uh. What do you mean? Sierra, the girl you mentioned, died in a car accident two years ago. An official death certificate was issued. She's most certainly dead. Then who the hell tried to kill me? And who was that I... Wait, no. According to some dental records, the identity of the deceased was Miss uh, Sweet. Wait, oh. <gasps> the evil. The amulet. She got nauseous. She's possessed by the sister. Oh, fuck. She's possessed. Yeah, wait, yeah. And that's... But wait, then where did the blood on the knife come from? What the fuck is going on? I don't know, but that's what makes sense. Pick a stream fun time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know who we're raiding. Yeah, Dr. Bright. The we're other Dr. Bright. <laughs> we're definitely going to finish this by the end of stream, though. Probably, yeah. Well, are you planning to go at the standard time of 12? Yeah, well, it depends on how quick the endings are, but it looks like they're pretty quick. I think we're on six now? No, we're on seven, I believe. Or eight. Seven mm. or eight. So, yeah. No, we're not that far along. I believe we are, but anyway. Oh, whatever. That's not possible. I really did hear S Sally and her sister arguing. Her sister definitely stabbed Sally with a knife, and, and... Please, I need you to calm down. I'm sorry to say this, but based on the evidence at hand, there was a, there were only two people in the house that day. You and Miss Sarah Sweet. This ha there has to be a mistake. It's just not possible. Oh, fucking hell. Well, that proves it. Huh? Uh, uh, the sister, she's right there. Excuse me. John. John. Uh. There you are. John's final piece. Stay the heck away from me. Phantom. 7 to 10, see? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we are getting we three bodies more. pretty Yeah, we're getting bodies pretty quickly. Mainly because we can skip some dialogues. It's just repeats. Oh, this is new. Listen up. I'm not the only going to say this once. You have to trust that desire right in the... You have to thrust that desire right in the eyes of a evil spirit. Got it, but why? A vindictive evil spirit and curse a human with just its gaze. And the Zara works by repelling the malice in that gaze, giving the evil spirit a taste of its own medicine. Ah, uh, so you gotta use the Mazar to beat the possession girl. I had two dreams. One seems to have been a nightmare, and the other was, well, I don't remember. <clears throat> but somehow I feel like I should hold on to oh the Zara. So either we're about to get a good ending or another bad ending. Uh, thanks for stating the obvious, Bray. 
in other words, right, right, I'm sorry, I gotta take a second. What you basically <laughs> just said, as if it was a revelation, we're either going to get heads or tails when I flip this coin. <laughs> yeah, that was all to say right there. <laughs> there are two diaries here. That one is newer, and this one looks relatively old. I'll take a look at this older one. It belongs to Sally's sister? Didn't her sister die in a car accident two years ago? On Sally's birthday, too. Anyway, let's see what this diary says. I'm sorry, Sally. I only said that because I was angry. It didn't really mean I don't want you anymore. Ah, uh, it's referring to when she pushed her away. Sally said that her sister must have hated her since they were children, but I guess she was mistaken. So what went wrong with their relationship? I was the one who fell in- Yeah. Yeah. I was the one who fell in love with John first. How dare Sally confess her love to him. I may have never- Oh, fuck, and this is continuing the themes of the first- Of the first game where the two twins had the hots for the same handsome guy. Yeah. I may have never said anything, but how could she have not noticed? This is why clear communication is important. Yeah. Looks like this entry was written written in middle school. So it sounds like like her sister started hating Sally because they f fell in love with the same guy. Wait a minute, there's two spaces between because and Sally. Because it's magic. A lot, yeah, it's a lot wider than the others. Like, why is there two spaces? It bothers formatting me slightly. Errors. These are not the formatting errors you are looking for. <laughs> <laughs> How time flies. Sally has now been dating John for five years, but I've never once spoken out about my feelings for him. It's almost as if bottling up my emotions is kind of stupid. <laughs> Sally used to be such a crybaby and a tag-along, but now she's a confident woman who speaks for herself. Meanwhile, I'm still the girl who makes dolls to keep myself, keep herself company and to pretend I don't need to be loved. I've been so full of anger and jealousy towards Sally, but she's always been good to me. I hate how narrow-minded and ugly I am compared to my sister. No wonder John porked her and not me. So did she hate Sally or not? <laughs> Dude, it's it's almost as if emotions are complicated. Yeah. Maybe she had mixed feelings of both hate and love. There's there's more than hate and love on the emotional on the emotional spectrum, my guy. <laughs> Tomorrow is our birthday. Mom came home for the hour. <laughs> the occasion. That never happens. Sally and John are also looking forward to the outing tomorrow. If I take this opportunity to confess everything to them, maybe. Just maybe I'll be able to let go of my feelings for John. Too bad I'm about to die. <laughs> And that's when they ended up in the car accident. Oh, jeez. Why? Why? Huh? Why is Sally the one who survived? Why is Clearly the one who died? This diary, there's more to it. John, why did you disappear? I'll look for you, I'll find you, and I'll kill whoever gets in my way. Does this mean her sister became an evil spirit and possessed Sally to do all those horrible things? I'm gonna save you, Sally. I sent a message to Bruce, just in case. 
Oh, this is probably when they're going to get involved, and we probably will look at them. Sally is possessed. Please save her. If I die, everything I own is yours. As long as he smells money, he'll definitely come. This way. I. This way, I'm all set. She's coming. Okay, bring it. I told you not to open the door to my room. This isn't your room, and that body isn't yours. It's Sally's. Marty used an Azar amulet. Did it work? No. Uh, no, no, it did not work. What? That thing wards off evil spirits, doesn't it? Unfortunately for you, I'm not an evil spirit. If you're not an evil spirit, then what the heck are you? Why don't you guess? Uh. Marty stabbed several times in the abdomen, and in the wounds. Adam. <laughs> Abdomen, <laughs> sorry. Abdomen. Adamin. Adamin. And the wounds feel like they're burning. He breaks out in cold sweat as he feels his body heat draining away. Who's that hurt? Well, I'll put you out of your misery. She raises her right hand, ready to slash Moody's throat open. the knife does not come down, someone has grabbed the sister's arm. And it is none other than... <laughs> herself. Her left hand was her... has her right wrist clutched firmly, stopping the knife. I didn't expect you to wake up. This is the first time we're awake at the same time, isn't it? Is that you, Sally? What? How is it you, Sally? Sally, what are you doing with a knife? Why are you stabbing Marty? Why? Because I want to remove John's final piece from him. What? What? You always have dreams where you're searching for John's arms and legs, don't you? Did you really think those were just dreams? So, all those dreams were true? That's right. You strangled your boyfriends in bed, dismembered them in the bathtub, and sewed them up here. All of it's true. No, she didn't. That's not how. That's not how that works. <laughs> you did that. So, it really was me who closed the desk. No, no, it wasn't. No. It's your dick-ass sister caused their deaths. You murdered them. No, uh, uh. uh. Did you really believe it was because of some stupid curse? <laughs> Don't play dumb. You know you did it. In their most vulnerable moment, you strangled them both to death with your own hands. Like a black widow spider. That's not what... Oh wait, no, that is what black widows do. My brain hurts. Oh, Sally! Why did you... What? No, because of what she's saying. Well, yeah, obviously it's Sally, but, like, I've been... 
It's not a surprise that Sally's here. No, I was saying. Oh, oh yeah, what she's saying. My brain. Yeah. You, you're the one who did it, not me. What are you talking about? After all this, you still want to blame me for everything? I am you. Don't say that. Sally, don't listen. Don't listen to her nonsense. Dun, dun, dun. And now you're about to kill Marty. D no. No. Sally is left hand and the one holding on to her right suddenly gets stronger. Ma uh, I, I'm breaking. I forget what voices. Multi, run. Stop resisting. This is the place free of Sally's left hand and slashers her left elbow. Uh. The scene almost looks oddly comical, but Marty knows that Sally is being attacked because she's trying to buy him enough time. Sally... <laughs> Shouldn't you be more worried about yourself? Move. Get moving! Ugh, my head is spinning. Marty is bleeding too much and is about to pass out. At that moment, Sally suddenly takes a deep breath. What do you think you're doing? Oh no. E <laughs> yeah. Sally grabs her right hand again with her left. She holds her right wrist in a firm grip. Then points the tip of the knife at her own throat. Yeah. What? I figured it was coming to this. Are you? Cr oh wait, no. Are you crazy? If you kill me, you'll die too. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Marty, thank you for loving a girl like me. Wait. What? Okay, I'll let Marty. Sierra, even if you let Marty go, I'm not going to let you off. I'm ending all of this along with you. Uh, uh. Stop! Don't be stupid, Sally. Forget about me. Find someone who truly deserves your love. No! <laughs> Sally jams the tip of the knife to the right side of her throat. The pain is so severe that her hands instantly go limp. <coughs> but she regains her grip on the knife and slashes her throat hard to the left. I think doppelgangers is inherited because Sally's mom talked about the curse affecting all the women in her family. Maybe. Oh. Sally, what? Notice can't Sally. <laughs> Is this a hospital? Oh god. Not Jade. Bruce. Oh you Jade. Were... I'm Bruce's partner, Jade. Don't you remember I am? Right, sorry. 
I'm just a little confused oh, wait, right no, now. No, that's not the boys. I gave her like. <laughs> Where's Sally? Bruh. Well, Sally. The <laughs> the. Wait, ha wait, back! What the fuck? Oh my gosh, Sally! I'm so relieved you're okay. Yeah. It was a miracle. Ruth got your message and came to the house just in time to save us. I knew you were going th through for us, Bruce. Something's wrong. So then, what happened to the, your sister? I'm not really sure either, but Bruce got rid of her. I never expected I'd say goodbye to my sister like this. But then, you'll never be able to reconcile maybe. with your sister. Yeah, maybe. Uh, to book form. Yeah, maybe. It's fine, Marty. Everything's fine. None of that really matters anymore. You're right. I'm here, and you're here with me. What could be more important than that? Yeah, he looks like he's going mad. She's not there. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, oh, he, no. he's not. Who does he talking to? Oh, did she possess him? Who else? The princess, he failed to stay in court. Unfortunately, he was seen wasn't actually Sally's brother, but only a plan to be great in Escape the Valley. It's probably hallucinating due to the severe drama. All that just because one girlfriend died. I'm more sure and infatuated. God, I hate Jade. Well, when he met her, he just lost his pants. His only friend in his memory. Even worse, as soon as he woke up in the hospital, he was thrown into that paranormal hazard. It don't make sense that he turned to Sally for emotional support to get through his de desperate situation. Can't blame him if he can't live without Sally. The ride high, will you become like that too? No. Wake up, you're not my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she looks pissed off. <laughs> Good. We can't do anything for him now. We're too late. What are you talking about? As long as he stays in that state, they'll always be together. Till death do them part. I'd say we came just at the right time to witness this magical moment. Wow, she's a bitch. Congratulations then, I guess. Bad ending five, till death do them part. Are we gonna get through the other two endings in time? I hope you understand how desire deals with evil spirit. Okay, but there are... Are there any evil spirits out there that are so strong that the Nazar won't do anything? Hmm, <laughs> of course. But what kind of evil spirits? Before answering that, let me ask you a question. Are humans afraid of evil spirits? Well, because they can levitate and go through walls, plus cast deadly curses and kill humans. But there are certain evil spirits that can't levitate or go through walls, or even cast deadly curses. But what they do is more horrific than killing. Can you tell what they are? You mean humans? Huh, so your brain actually works. Okay, then, Mr. Mas Master Exorcist, how do we deal with that type of evil spirit? Simple. Just act even crazier than, that, than the evil spirit. Fuck? Act crazier? <laughs> the fuck is that advice? Here, take this. You'll need it. Hands you like a, a piece of paper with a heart thrown on it.
It's a body. Oh, oh no, my God. we haven't seen this a million times. There's only one thing on this table that's diff I haven't seen yet. Conversation notes. What are these conversations? Why would the notes be left out here? Sally is a 20-year-old college student when she was very young. She lost her father, her mother, did not show her adequate love. She was rejected by her sister. The reason I'm making a note of these conversations is because after witnessing the tragic death of her sister and boyfriend in a car accident, the resulting trauma seems to have triggered occasional lapses of her memory. I guess sometimes people forget painful memories to protect themselves. During our first conversation, I noticed that Sally tends to suppress herself and cater to others, believing she does not deserve to be loved. That could be a result of her lonely childhood. Maybe her boyfriend John could have to see that she deserves love, but Sally believes she caused D John's death, and now she thinks she's even a lot less worthy. Maybe for Sally, John was the first person who ever gave her love. She must have hated herself for causing his death. A few days ago, when searching through her sister's belongings, Sally read her sister's diary. She was devastated to find out that her sister loved John too, which was not good for her trauma. Wonder what not good means. Sally didn't seem herself today. She was awfully aggressive, then later she called to apologize, but the reason for the apology was weird. She was sorry that she forgot we were supposed to meet. What is this? Obviously, she had no memory of what we had met and talked earlier. I'm worried that Miss Station as everything that Sally hates about herself is taking control. So this is the dark side of Sally. I'll call it her shadow from now on. Shadow? What kind of fucked up weird experiments are going on? Sally recently got a new boyfriend. Maybe this will finally help her through her trauma. But today she said in a panic that she realized someone was continuing her sister's diary. She was scared that it was her sister haunting her. She let me read the diary and I realized the new entry sounded suspiciously like the shadow rather than her sister's old entries. I think I, we need to try and figure out how much the shadow is infringing on Sally's life. How much, huh? An awful lot, I'd say. She couldn't escape John's death so she wanted to reconstruct him. She chose to make him out of her boyfriends, including me. So my girlfriend really is a psycho killer. Somehow, I'm not very scared. After all, the one who did that was her shadow. And the love I felt from Sally was definitely real. At the rest of the cold consumption, thinking back, they She has, trouble accept she has trouble accepting herself because she liked love in her childhood. I may not be able to give her enough love to make up for that, but even so, I swear I will. Continue to love. <laughs> it's my choice. I won't let anyone stop me. I can't live without what? Sally in my life Marty anymore. Sound in Why are you making Marty sound insane? He was giving this insane eyes. Those are just his eyes, bro. Well, it's also said to act crazy to deal with this. Oh, yeah. They got wider. Yeah. <laughs> Wide eyes equals crazy eyes. Yeah. Everyone, I've got the crazy eyes on. Holy shit. It's true. I'm like 90% crazy <laughs> right now. <laughs> She's coming. Go ahead and come. Go ahead and come. <laughs> oh, 
I told you. I told. What voice do I even do at this point? I told. I told you not to open the door to my room. Your room, huh? You're not Sally, but you're not her sister either. Uh, oh. You're the part of Sally that she hates most about herself. You're her shadow. It doesn't matter what I am. Uh, it's talking through her. I'll use the Russian. The only thing that matters is that soon I'll have someone who loves me. Because my John is about to be complete. We'll fix her. <laughs> it's fine if no one loves me. I just need to sow one that does one myself. That's what Sierra taught, Sally. That's what Sierra taught me. Remember what I said? Marty took out the sister doll. If your sister really didn't have any love for you, she wouldn't have made this doll for you at all. You really... I... I really what? don't see why you're doing the crazy sounds. Alright, I'll just do regular voice then. And now yeah. there's a guy who loves you standing right in front of you. Why do you pretend like you don't see him? Oops, sorry. I'm not talking to you, Shadow. Wake up, Sally. I'm trying to get through to you. You think you can wake up Sleeping Beauty with that bullshit? What are you, Prince Charming or some protagonist in a dating sim? Maybe? The Shadow slowly raises her right hand to reveal the kitchen knife. It's better if, we, if you never speak again. He'll be more attractive that way. Oh, I was kind of hoping for some Marty X Shadow action. <laughs> Marty spreads his, his arms ready to embrace the Shadow's knife. Well? Sally, if you don't wake up soon, another one of your boyfriends is gonna get butchered. Are you really okay with that? That's right. I'm using emotional blackmail. <laughs> I've never, I have never heard someone just outright say, "That's right. I'm using emotional blackmail." That needs to be clipped. That needs to be clipped. <laughs> well, I don't. They're perfect for. Well, I don't think. Call either of them too toxic. I mean, it's just a little bit of crazy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's it. The hell? You're crazy. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> That's crazy. It's a bunch of crazy. Shadow. What? The knife pierces through the skin of Marty's midriff, but the cut is not deep. <laughs> Someone has grabbed the shadow's hand, and it, that is none other than Sally. Now, is Sally gonna die again or no? Sally, it's you. Sally's left hand was her right wrist clutched firmly, stopping the knife. I can't believe this bullshit really woke you up. That's right, I'm using emotional black. <laughs> Call it what you want, but it opened my head. Oh, wait. Yeah, that is Sally. I mean, I'm using the same voice anyway. Why am I tripping? <laughs> Call it what you want, but it opened my eyes. I shouldn't think I'm inferior and unloved. You've been playing the tragic heroine for 20 years, and now you want to change yourself? Isn't that just a little too convenient? Who do you think you are? That you can change? That's that's a thing that like humans do when when they grow. Humans change. 
Who do you think I am? Of course, I am you. And I won't allow that part of me to kill any more of my boyfriends. Sally puts more force in her left hand and suppresses the right hand controlled by the shadow. Yeah, bitch, the knife's still in us! <laughs> Don't be fooled. He doesn't really love you. He's just hungry for your body, like all the other guys. Whoa! Oh, yeah, that's... She had mentioned, like, having to deal with him being pervy. Yeah. Huh? I want to get the fucking... Sally's left hand filters oh, no. slightly. As a healthy, functioning guy, I'll admit I love Sally for her body as much as her mind. What's wrong with being hungry for her body? Dude! Dude! This is not the time for that sort of statement, bro. You've Dude. got a knife in your oh, midwife. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sally... Sally, just, just, try that even further. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, you could say it in another way than, yeah, I'm a guy, I wanna fuck, what about it? <laughs> you could, you could have worded that so much better. Like you, like, like literally all you had to do is not end with the part of, of course I love you for your body. Like, literally, all you can do is rework the- like, keep the first statement. Like, yeah, I'm a functioning guy, and I like her for both her mind and her body, but I really love her. Like, it's so easy to not sound shallow there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Motti. Do you- do you have to say that out loud? <laughs> Then tell me, if you're so hungry, are you really okay with the fact that she didn't save herself for you? As a healthy guy, can you say you don't mind oh that? Oh my. Oh okay, my. Okay, so now we God. really. Okay, now we really get a personality test on Marty. Is he a gross, over possessive, patriarchal bitch? Or is he rad? Marty? Oh, come on. What is this, the Middle Ages? Okay, good. Like, I don't even mind that Sally killed a couple guys. Why would I care about her virginity? <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I've already accepted that this girl that I'm gonna stick my dick in is crazy. I don't care what other dicks have been in. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Like, that's supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> Wait, what did you specifically say? You kind of fast forward it. Sally pokes the knife into Barney. Oh, <laughs> Shadow, did, Shadow didn't say anything. It was just dots. No, like, before that. Like, Mar Marty said something, but we were too busy laughing. No. No, he didn't. No, he did. No, I, well, I can't access the log, so I can't even tell you. Nah, whatever. Stitch that on a pillow. Rad boyfriends support their killer girlfriends. Healthy oh guys reject God. toxic masculinity. Sorry about that. If you're unsure, I can comfort you. If it's a promise you need, I can give you one. But what really matters, Sally, is for you to believe that you deserve love first, or you'll never receive it. Do, do you actually think? Do you actually think a, psych, a cycle like her really deserves your love? It's perfect, actually. Sally and I, we're both crazy. We're a match made in heaven. Do us a favor and go to sleep already. Stop being such a third wheel. <laughs> Bitch. Oh my god. Marty is right. I want to believe him, and because he believes in me, I want to believe in myself. 
Sure, believe in him and yourself. But when you get betrayed, you know it's going to hurt like hell. Can you really stand that? If that happens, all I have to do is wake you up and make you kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Nervously laughs off the threat of death. Okay, interesting. I'll look forward to seeing if you'll ever need to wake me up. Good night, other me. Wait, would this be counter as bipolar disorder? Is that, is, isn't that the one with two personalities or something like that? No, that's... Oh. But... I think this would be closer to DID. Uh, but it's... Yeah, Bookworm said a DID. But okay. it's also like... Uh, as we can... Or something similar, yeah. or as As we can all probably, hopefully, be able to tell. It's also not a very accurate depiction of DID in yeah. practice. It's just fiction. The only thing that I'm wondering is... Oh, never mind. I just read it. They did the stupid. The thing I learned huh? from security experience, if you get stabbed, keep the sharp object in you. Ah. Uh, Do yeah, not to... remove it. Yeah, to keep it from bleeding as much. Yeah. Yeah. That's why if someone gets stabbed with a big long pole, they cut the pole at both ends, but keep the pole in until they get to the hospital. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't that deep of a cut. Yeah. Yep, and now we know why the game said this is fiction at the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah true. It's just like, like, just matter of the fact, this is fiction. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. A shadow relinquished control of the right hand and a knife clattered to the ground. So I looked dazed for a moment, but Amelia came too. She even looked refreshed as if she awakened from a long dream. It seemed the shadow had entered a deep sleep. There's still one more ending. I don't know how to say this, but I feel like you see through me. That's what it's like now to be if... a couple. Just seeing each other's good sides isn't, isn't enough. Now all we have to do is have baby and that baby be trans. Then you, you can truly say that I am transparent. <laughs> oh, God. God, I hate myself. I'm worried that I might hurt you again one day. Is there any kind of love where people never hurt each other in some way? Huh. I mean, that's you know, not that's... fully wrong. Yeah, that that's an interesting take, but I, I can kind of see some validity in that. Yeah, Bookworm says mm, maybe. Like, like, taking outside of the fictional context, like... I think an aspect of having relationships in general is occasionally ending up uh, stepping on each other's toes, which is why healthy communication is important to make it clear when someone's boundaries are being pushed. And like, obviously, we need to strive to avoid hurting each other in some way. But yeah, that's actually I think that's actually a fairly cogent take. I like that. Marty's actually a lot smarter than we thought they were. Yeah, M Marty's a bit more progressive than the, than, <laughs> than the, <laughs> than the momentarily chud take he made of, I'd, I'd like you for both your body and your brain. What's wrong with me liking you for your body? <laughs> a shame he gets eaten. <laughs> we don't know that he gets eaten. Well, it's definitely then... true in the third game. They meet the cannibal boy. Oh yeah, they meet the cannibal boy. That doesn't mean he gets eaten. Jade didn't get eaten by the cannibal boy. <laughs> then, Marty, can I make a decision that I know is going to hurt you? What decision is that? I want to turn myself in and confess my guilt to my ex-boyfriend's families. Oh. 
Yeah. Why now? Why do you have to leave me when we can finally be together? Bruh, she killed people. Marty, listen to me, please. It's because I want to be with you that I think I should pay for my sins first. She's probably gonna rot in jail. Yeah. She well, killed, like, two people, so, like... She killed two people, yeah. but we can... That's the thing. We can easily bring up defenses of mental health issues, and if I'm not mistaken, Japan's uh, prison system is a decent bit more reformative than punitive. Yeah. So, meh. Anyway. I have girly... <laughs> I have girly things. <laughs> I have girly dreams about a romance, you know? I want to be your girlfriend as a normal girl, not as a killer. I try to I try to not use that word as much because it's now outdated vernacular. Yeah, I mean this game's old. Well, I mean that's the thing. Like it's still very much in the culture. Uh. It's just incorrect and it's primarily used in a very negative context. In the same way that, like, uh, the term lunatic mm -hmm. has like a bad history around being used to negatively affect bipolar people it's the same sort of thing or maybe related multiple life sentences maybe or maybe released early for good behavior and i didn't even think about mental health please yeah like this is like literally just get her into a psychologist and we've got a decent We've got a decent justification for not guilty by insanity. Yeah. Anyway. Of course, no matter what I do, the people I killed won't come back to life. Still, I have to take responsibility for the things I've done. But, but I don't care. Psycho killer or not, you're my girlfriend. Marty wanted to hold Sally's hand, but... My hands are covered in blood. I don't want to taint yours. Can, can your... Can your character please stop being fucking selfish for one minute? <laughs> yeah, like, he, like... That's the thing. I think he's not the most selfish character, but he's like back and forth between wanting to like genuinely help Sally for her sake, but also like... Having that very selfish thread. Yeah. Taint your hands yourself, Marty. No! B bookworm, what are you doing? But if one day my hands are clean, and we have the opportunity to meet again, will you hold my hand then? Do murder become a murder? Bruh! Bookworm! No! Why am I smelling popcorn? Are you having a stroke? No. Wait, that's toast. Yeah, what you, what you <laughs> just a I've always wanted to tell stroke. that joke. Yeah. You smell some weird oh, thing? Oh, look. That's the other ending. Oh, for fuck's sake. The, the, the final ending is, I can get my hands dirty too. Okay. God damn it, bookworm. Thank you for saying you'll wait for me. But if it takes too long, just forget about me. I, <laughs> Bookworm says, I finally called something. <laughs> and we, we just keep calling shit, to, like, right before it's confirmed. What the fuck is with this recording session? It's a are, are you plan? Are you planning to make these into an act into actual videos? I'm pretty much just going to have the whole stream just be a video. Just cut out the intermissions and stuff. Gotcha. Because, like, there's just so much shit to just delve into in these games. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah. 
Don't put off your own happiness just for me. I'll always be waiting for you. You're so silly. After waking up, it wasn't happily ever after for my sleeping beauty. Reality confronted her like a thicket of thorns. Sally was not only tried com criminally. Did I actually finally say that word correctly? Criminally? Yeah. Wow. That's I think so. First. But was also subjected to online abuse. Oh, come oh, on! Fun. Yay! Before Sally was convinced, some unscrupulous. Whatever that word is. Unscrupulous. Uh, that really is a hard word to say. I don't blame you. Unscrupulous. I'm just going to say some reporters centralized her as the prettiest murderer ever, publicizing her real name and even her appearance. Oh, that's the thing. That shit would just absolutely get those uh, places run into the ground in Japan. A, 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 a criminal. Uh, a criminal's uh, name, like full name, is always kept from the public in uh, Japan. If if they manage to do that, that would, like, they would be seeing criminal charges. Uh, strangers online not only rated Sai's face and body, but also jokingly called her the angel face killer, and made a big deal about her gender. I w I would like to mentioned that it's really really funny that you mispronounced jokingly and made it sound like jerking Get fuck off <laughs> yeah. at some point the stress got to Sally so badly that the shadow resurfaced in public the scene also went viral oh no jeez keep her locked away somewhere they can't let her run loose so she can hurt others now again a girlfriend is rough these days she could treat you like an ATM or she could even kill you and after all that you find out she's damn she's damaged oh. goods god you don't have to be that on the nose with internet shit that's you don't a... have to be that on the nose oh my gosh that's just a woman being a woman i bet it was pms oh god it hurts <laughs> i that's the thing like i've been watching a bunch of stuff that looks at like internet guys doing the, exactly this shit this hurts because, like, I you know that this is out there. You don't want to uh. hear this one. Some evil woman kills two guys and you creeps make a circus out of it? Where do you hide when us honest women get sexually assaulted and harassed? <laughs> Jesus <sighs> Christ. This debate is pointless. What, what she did is obviously just an act to reduce her sentence. She's a psycho who mut mutilated two guys. Do us a favor and go... Oh, okay. Why should honest taxpayers have to feed such a monster with our hard-earned money? Okay, Boomer. Yeah. They don't know anything about Sally. Why do they talk like they do? Not a single one of them really cares what kind of person Sally is. Oh, go crazy. Uh -huh. No. They're evil spirits, no. too. The whole lot no. of them. No, that's the point. He was mentioning that the th reason why humans are scared of evil spirits is because they're just us. Yeah. God, why? Oh, God, why does this game have to suddenly have a bunch of decent societal critiques? Right. Bookworm's crying. How do we stop Bookworm from crying? <laughs> Losing Sally has made my life all bad again. And seeing all the mockery and abuse hurled at Sally made me suffer even more. Well, on a second thought, maybe the reactions are just normal. Maybe I'm the abnormal one. Oh no, thing... that's the thing. Oh. You are the abnormal one. But you're also correct. Yeah. Normality is the problem. What is normal is the issue. That's how systemic issues work, bitch. <laughs> I haven't been dating Sally for long. Why am I so obsessed with her? I don't really know. I just feel like I've known Sally for a long time. Even longer than she's known me. <laughs> what am I saying?
of course I want to wait, but I don't think I can bear this any longer. Because I really can't live without you. But I'll keep waiting for you to keep my promise. I'll continue to lie to myself that I can wait. Good ending. Waiting. That's... Uh... It's a good ending, because she didn't die, but... Oh. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Oh, hi, Jerry. You're getting right till we go uh, to the last ending. <laughs> you missed out so much. Uh, well, I had to eat, and I had to take a bath. No, you're I good. I didn't know you're anything good. was said until... Now. Ah, extra ending, yes. Yeah. Oh, here we go. No, I've had enough. I don't want to lie to myself anymore. Break the, break the crazy girl out. I should have kept Sally by my side, even if it meant getting my hands dirty. <sighs> if only I could rewind time. Oh yeah, that's right, you can. Huh? <laughs> Did I hear someone say they want to rewind time? Who's there? This is the first time I heard this voice. You mortals are so eager to extol your love, courage, hope, and whatever else. Then you can always make choices that you can achieve something. <laughs> Yet, whenever you're overwhelmed with despair, you immediately pray for a miracle. I do love how admirably pathetic the mortal existence Adorably. is. Adorably. Whatever. Very well, I should play Cupid for you and that girl and take pity on you with that miracle of rewinding time. What? Ah. Oh, it was her. So, those pre cognitive dreams weren't dreams at all. Rather, every time I regretted the decision and despair, yeah, descended rewound time and, and I forgot everything. I'm your boyfriend. Told you not to. Uh, do, 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 see, seeing things. Now I remember all those previous loops. I accepted Sally, misunderstood her, got stabbed by her, and even went insane for her. In every loop, I naively thought I was in control of making my own choices. But actually, my fate was already written, intertwined with Sally's. Or just gestures made to dance in someone else's script. Yay, determinism. This isn't a mind fuck. In this world, there are beings beyond the reach of human understanding. And we humans may be nothing more than playthings that exist to please those beings. I suppose this is what oh. Nya meant by the mortal existence, huh? Oh, damn. That just makes me want to re-listen to a... Uh, Hatsuda Miku song. In that case... Why am I forgetting the name? I'll just just accept it for what it is. Oh, we're back here. Yeah. Yeah, we can just skip this. Like, like him this. To then, then. This time, yeah. We want time back to before I made my last choice. Not when I woke up on the sofa. Might even say that deity is surprisingly considerate. Definitely not good by any means, but at least this time, I have to admit I'm thankful. Yeah, this time they didn't make us wait through the entire storyline. <laughs> yeah. Marty? Marty! Oops, sorry Sally, I was just, just thinking about something. I know it. You don't want to wait for my hands to be clean, do you? Um, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why do you care if your hands are bloody? Just get my hands dirty too. Marty picks up the kitchen knife from the ground. But Marty? Figure out a way for us to be together. Forever. No, no, don't go. No, don't go that route. No, no, Marty. What? 
Marty digs the knife mercilessly into the oh, headless okay. corpse. What, what do you think you're doing? Can't you tell? We just have to get rid of the corpse properly, and you won't have to turn yourself in. So I'm chopping it, it up into parts again. Back why out, did, yeah. Why didn't I think of such a simple solution the last time? A simple solution? For starters, where could you even dispose of this? <laughs> there are those hills behind your house. Your exes are buried there and they've never been found. We just bury stuff nice and deep to prevent stray dogs from digging them up. How, how could you possibly know that? Oh, we need to burn the diaries and photos too, especially the photos of red writing on the back. There'll be trouble if someone sees those. There's red writing on the back of the photos? I know nothing about that. Of course you don't, because I know you a lot better than you know yourself. Okay, yeah, now he is going a little crazy. <laughs> I think he needs a lack of logic. Multi, listen to me, please. What I'm trying to say is you don't have to go that far. Allie. Compared to having to watch you turn yourself in, being abused online, Having a shadowy surface in public. Taking apart a corpse and getting rid of it is nothing. N nothing? I mean, it's not like I'm a random stranger. I'm your boyfriend, aren't I? Now and always. Forever. From now on, the fact you kill some people is. Secret just between the two of us. You know that's a joke of I think. I'm Sally, a female college student. A couple of years ago, I was in a horrible car accident where I lost my first love and my only sister. It was dramatic for me and I'm still adjusting to this life. I recently started going out with a boy. His name is Marty, and he loves me so much that he only, that he only has eyes for me, to the point that it's somewhat terrifying. Because I start to feel that the me in his eyes doesn't just include me, but also something beyond the reach of my own understanding. He's hiding some secrets from me. <laughs> oh, come on! Some secrets. I mean, yeah. That oh. are unspeakable. Yeah, I mean, he just... Extra ending. My boyfriend's secrets. Yeah, I mean, he did kind of just, like... Get a sudden peek oh. at the fabric of reality. No. I'm sorry, Cherry. Bright will be putting up the uh the video on the main channel, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. It it like you basically came in right after the the game had like some notably cutting uh like commentary. Specifically on the internet. Oh, well. What what was mentioned there is uh, uh, her getting harassed online because of the crime she committed, and uh, yeah, we get we get a, we get a decent handful of glimpses into what people were saying online, and it's it hurts. It hurts well, how accurate it was. 
to be fair, online bullying and harassing and pushing to suicide was a thing in Japan before it spread to other countries. I shouldn't say to be fair like that. Anyway, yeah. Uh... That is Wait. not a trend anyone should ever be proud of starting. What? Wait, that existed in Japan before other places? I feel like... I feel like... Yeah, they were dubious. talking about it in Japan in cartoons before other countries even started realizing it existed. Mm -hmm. Like right. pushing people to... Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, just remember, Japan's one of those very incircular sort of cultures. Right, yeah. So Yeesh. that, even with early internet, is a bad... Unless someone, like, steps in and goes, don't do this, and in Japan, you just don't do that. So... Yeah. I think that's stupid, and you see what it results in, but... Uh... Anyways. Stream's Jeez. ending. But, uh... Yeah. Do quick final words and then rate you. Er, as a quick thing. Mm -hmm. Like, in that case, I'm guessing that's a part of why uh, in Japan uh, criminals' names are kept hidden from the public. Yeah, but people in the public tend to find out a lot of the times anyway. Oh, which is okay. very underhanded, but also... Oh, that, that basically happened within this. I figured that those people could end up getting into deep trouble with the government. There. They probably should, but typically it's hard to find out the first person who outed mm. uh, criminals. Yeah, okay, yeah. That, that. Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense how it'd be hard to enforce that. Yeah, anyway, book on last uh, go. I mean, another option is to just fucking butcher the company itself. <laughs> oh, Make oh, it... oh, yeah. You know what I mean, like, dissolve the company. Oh, you mean like, make yeah, like it have... harder for people to do that, or? No, I mean, have heavy punitive measures put down on any companies that publish this shit. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, like, instead of trying to get the people in trouble who do that, get the companies yeah, who don't track them down or like stop it or anything in trouble because yeah yeah if, focus if on delete that then it, it becomes a shit storm for those people they can't just go back to living their lives again even after they repent yeah their like, lives are destroyed yeah exactly like deal with the main uh source of distribution of this sort of harmful information rather than Wasting time trying to figure out the exact person who's guilty for the leak. Yeah. Anyway, now we're just waiting for Brooklyn's last words and get your yeah. three guys' last yeah, words. Like, there. comment, oh. subscribe, oh. and follow Bright's channel, and give her money if you can. If you don't, but can, I might this have to go Marty on you. Heh. <laughs> Uh, Robert says this is a joke in parentheses. Like, comment, and subscribe, and follow Bryce's channel, and give her money if you can. If you don't, but can, I might have to go Marty on you. <laughs> I wanted to add a laugh at the oh. end, but ran out of characters. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, uh, Jerry, last words go. Welcome to the internet. Have a look around. <laughs> Hey, Jerry, did you know someone made an SCP version of that song? Oh my god. Did they? That makes yes, oh my they god, did. I need to see that. They did. That sounds amazing. Oh, I Welcome to the foundation. Have a look around. <laughs> That's probably a song. I'm going to look it up. Anything that brain of yours can think of can be found. Yep, I found it. You've got. We've got mountains of horrors, some better, some worse. If none of them are interested, you will be the first. All right. Welcome to the foundation. Come Here and you go. Take it's a in seat. the stream planning. Welcome to the foundation. No, Come and take a seat. I can't play on the stream because you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll click it after the stream. Yeah, and uh. 
uh, during the last words go. Beep, 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 beep. Moderna? Moderna? I'm here. Okay. Um, like, subscribe, the rate is a bird. God damn it. Um, oh. <laughs> I am emotionally blackmailing you all. Oh, yeah, that was a... <laughs> that, oh, yeah. that was a point in this cheery where Marty at one point trying to deal with uh the the dark side of the female character at one point just outright says, That's right, I'm doing emotional blackmail. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, last words go. Also Brooklyn clipped it. Yay. And remember, kids, in the great words of George Santayana, the fuck is a fish? <laughs> anyway, uh, my last words is that, uh, <laughs> uh, is that when we raid you, we say, what's your girlfriend's secret? For no reason given. They probably don't even know we're playing this game because we can't put it as a Twitch oh, no. category. That you can't put it as a Twitch category, so I have no idea if we're playing this game. Okay, don't oh, don't no. don't switch yet. Go. Red girlfriend's secrets. This fish was rolled by all secrets as before. <laughs> what is a fish but a miserable pile of secrets? <laughs> anyway, see ya. What is your girlfriend's secret? Everyone ready? Uh, type it out. Ooh, that's even better with the with the knife. Yeah, let's uh let me just copy that. Yeah, I'll copy that to uh curl C curl V. Alright, everyone ready? Yes. Three. Two, one. Uh, taking it. It's two. did I just click over? Huh? Three, two, one, raid. Oh. Let's return to the town and see what